job that I don't like They want me work for the whole night I'm the Red Lion, Prince of Carnival I'm about to take you into a world like no other Come with me as I travel from country to country City to city, seeking to experience this world I want to share with you the beautiful culture Places to stay and things to do all while traveling this world, known as Carnival, is like no other. It appears only once a year and comes with no sleep, epic experiences, euphoria, and memories for a lifetime. We're ready for the road! The small island of Bermuda is the perfect place for a relaxing island trip any time of the year. A name often associated with the bright and colorful shorts. Oldest of the remaining overseas territory of the United Kingdom, Bermuda is 21 square miles of pink beaches, on feathered snorkeling, shipwrecks locations, and some of the freshest seafood around. Booking a ticket for somewhere as warm and tropical as Bermuda always comes with a feeling of anticipation and excitement. But knowing I was going there to cover the carnival and all the treasures that come with such an established island heightened that excitement. I definitely couldn't wait on some of their famous fish sandwiches. The ride to the hotel was scenic and allowed me a very brief view of a culture that celebrates life. Our hotel, the Reefs Hotel, was located on the south shore of the island. Upon arrival, I could tell that this hotel would be a warm and inviting. The color of the building seemed to be a salute to the pink sand beaches that lapped against one side of the hotel. The staff there were friendly and professional, letting me know that I made the right choice for the upcoming days of relaxation, exploration, and bacchanal that was just hours away from starting. So today I have the pleasure of walking around with our hosts one of the managers at the reefs and she's gonna show us the beauty of the reefs. Let's go. My room was another testament to my good decision making. The beds were soft and the view was stunning. lapping at the pink sands and a hypnotizing view. I knew then, had I not planned an adventure-packed stay, I could stay on this beach all day and do absolutely nothing but enjoy this view. Although I didn't want to tear myself from my hotel, any food-loving traveler knows that my belly has a mind of its own. Before I knew it, I had found my way to the renowned Rosa's. Rosa's claimed to be home of Bermuda's best fish sandwich, and I was skeptical. I placed my order, hoping, and watched the chef's work. I could see that my taste buds would gladly be proven wrong. The ingredients looked fresh and were mixed in ways that I could never think could work. This is it. This is it. Rosa's own award-winning fish sandwich. When you come to Bermuda, make sure you come to Rosa's. They have a variety of wonderful foods, but they have an award-winning fish sandwich. And I'm going to try it. So I'm about to have my award-winning Rosa's fish sandwich. This is the chef herself, the creator. 
So it's only fitting. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> wow. Pray for me. Oh my early doubts as the flavors of some of the native spices of Bermuda and expert culinary skills of the chef put all of the fish sandwiches I had previously tried to shame. I still think about that perfect fusion of flavor in that sandwich to this day and look forward to heading back to try it again. With a full belly, I was charged and ready for my next adventure. I took off on the road again, back to the hotel, to get ready for the first fit of my stay, Evolve. Just left the hotel, heading to Evolve, the premier all-inclusive party for the night. It's Bermuda, baby, let's go. The sun setting, sweet soca playing, and the sugar waistlines heightened the vibes of the fit, making it a good kickoff for Bermuda's Heroes Weekend. Shell it up. Shell it down. Shell. This is Sandra Brown. Sandra is the lady, the woman, the queen behind the ball. She gets things cooking in Bermuda Carnival. Welcome to the ball. Shell it down. Shell. Shell it down. look forward to laying down in that beautiful bed and getting some energy. After I take my little power nap, I was looking forward to exploring some of their sights that Bermuda had to offer. <laughs> Tobacco Bay was the next stop on my Bermuda sightseeing tour. Only good vibes is the plan. Here's so come we demand. Turn it up, the owner was kind enough to sit and chat with us about the diverse playground that is Tobacco Bay. We're here in Bermuda again. We're enjoying the sights. It's beautiful everywhere you go. There's a beautiful scenery to see. I'm here in Tobacco Bay with the owner. Can you tell us a little about what, what are we experiencing here? What's this? Like, what, what is this? It's just this uh, beautiful people uh, traversing Mother Nature. I mean, we set up base camp so people can come and they can swim, climb. Swim amongst the rocks. <laughs> swim in and around the veins of Mother Nature. We're we'll hooking you up with the snooba so you can snorkel. We've got the barbecue going. Uh, we've got you know, the beach bar and there's some volleyball outside and there's a, you know, some pool. But um, yeah, it's all about keeping it moving and bringing people together. You know? and, and this is just a come and enjoy a restaurant. This is a restaurant. It's a it's a beach bar and cafe that has programming in it. <laughs> Definitely a lot of programming. So yeah, so we're all about carnival. We got uh, some, we got weather on Sunday, and uh, we just soca versus reggae stuff. It's we're just about being a, a platform for creativity. So art comes, we bring people, and then it's just this awesome mix. So day programming, evening programming, a, a sunset vibe with, um, with happy hour drinks on Fridays and Saturdays. They got the bonfire going. Um, Saturdays we go some yoga and some hula hooping. Um, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a, a smorgasbord of awesomeness. I'm just in awe right now. This is a beautiful place, beautiful scenery, beautiful people, great ownership. What more you need? Come to Bermuda. For those of us who enjoy breathtaking views, there is plenty to experience at Tobacco Bay. From the mesmerizing water and the beautiful rock formations that jut out of it. Some of the 
Say what you say the Clock Tower Mall was another one of the local treasures that I got to explore. This mall in the Royal Naval Dockyard was previously home to a warehouse for the British Navy. We're here in beautiful Bermuda, which is home to the America's Cup 2017. So you already know, Bermuda is on fire right now. We have America's Cup. We have Heroes Weekend, Carnival. So we're having a time right now behind me. We are here at the Clock Tower Mall in Dockyard. But in 1990, it was converted into this beautiful mall with more than 25 restaurants, stores. You have the cruise ships coming in. You have everything you can think of right here in Bermuda, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Let's go. The unique architecture contrasted with many modern shopping malls is a medley that represents how well the new and old mesh in Bermuda. My next stop was Fort Scour, the perfect place for sightseeing. Located high on the hill, this old fort is the perfect place to enjoy the view of the ocean without dealing with too much sand. So I'm here at Fort Scour, which is one of many forts that was built to protect Dockyard. All right, it's pretty much one of the largest forts that they are out here. And as you can see from above, it is massive. Let's check out this fort. Look at these massive equipment that they have here. Everywhere you go on this island, the view is amazing. Standing next to old cannons and looking out at the vast turquoise water that surround Bermuda was surreal. Fort Scar was beautiful not only for its views of the ocean, but for its trails that were full of lush vegetation and lots of wildlife. It was a pleasure to see so much of the island's natural beauty. Swizzle restaurant was not exactly what one expects from a Caribbean restaurant. Its very pub-like atmosphere definitely adds to its charm. And the restaurant owner was kind enough to talk with us and give us more detail on why this restaurant keeps thriving. So tell me about what, what drink is this? This, this swizzle. Well, this is the, the famous Bermuda rum swizzle. And the swizzle, North, well, it's a swizzle in rum swizzle. Uh, the drink originated in Bermuda in 1931. Um, I consider Bermuda's national drink. It uh, has Bermuda uh, Gosling's Black Seal rum and gold rum fruit juices, some fruit liqueurs, uh, falernum in it, about 10 ingredients that make up a rum swizzle. Who came swizzle. up with the ingredients? Uh, the Otterbridge family in 1931 opened the swizzle in and it was their recipe and they used all of the readily available ingredients we had in the back then, which was rum, orange, <laughs> pineapple juice, uh, yep, liqueur, falernum, which is, an, which is a sweetener used to make cocktails, popular amongst uh, uh, you know, bartenders in the islands. Uh, it's, most North Americans aren't familiar with it, but it adds a nice flavor to the swizzle. So it is uniquely 100% for beauty. I mean, it doesn't taste strong, but from what you say, I know it's a sleeper. It'll come from yeah. behind it. It'll come from nowhere. Well, I'll, 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 take you out. I'll give you, I'll give you a, a visual idea how strong it is. We, uh, we make it in four gallon batches. And when we make the four gallon batch, we, the, we put two gallons of fruit juice and the other ingredients, and the other two gallons are alcohol. So, yeah, it's, cheers. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so this is definitely a drink you, you suggest people come and try. Have respect for it, but yes, do come and try it. Um, I don't think a trip to, and I know it sounds corny, but I don't think a trip to Bermuda is complete until you come to Switzerland and have a rum swizzle. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So if you're so. coming to Bermuda, you have to go to Switzerland and try the Switzerland rum. And remember our motto is Switzerland and swagger out. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we like to have fun here. So, so what is it about um, Bermuda that you love so much? Well, what I love about Bermuda is the natural beauty of it. And as I said earlier, I love the people as well. And I think that's pretty much the winning combination that makes us special makes us a special place. Um, Bermuda's got some of the friendliest people I've ever met in the world. 
and combine that with the beaches and, 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 and the ocean and the scenery here, it's a pretty special place. And of course, you got Switzerland, so that makes it really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I had a, um, the Wahoo local fish. Right. Was it good? It was good. Very good. Glad to hear that. It's one of so, our best sellers. So it's good to know that the food is just as good as the rum. Well, for sure. I, I like to think so. And uh, we certainly get a lot of people that come for the swizzle. We get plenty come just for the food as well. And uh, you know, we try and incorporate as much local product into the menu. Yeah, makes sense. And then throw in some favorites from overseas. And uh, I think it's a pretty pretty winning combination. Oh, swizzling is it? Swizzling is swagger. Uh, I hope I'm not swaggering out. All right. Well, there's still time. <laughs> Cheers. Next up was Five Star Friday. This event hosts some of the Caribbean's most premier acts, contributing to high energy and diversity in the crowd. It draws artists from all over the island. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's really great tonight. <laughs> so, I want you to look at the camera and tell the people why they need to be in Bermuda next year. You need to be in Bermuda next year because it's beautiful. We have the prettiest oceans, the kindest people, and the vibes are endless. I can't say any better than that. Let me go! You can see this reflected by all the different flags waving from performance to performance. It's always nice to see different islands coming together through music. It is one of the best things about this new era of soca music. Yo, Call of Alive is your boy Red Line. We are here in Five Star Friday. And I have one of Trinidad's finest ladies in the house. How are you enjoying Five Star Friday? It's beautiful. I'm having a fun time, a lot of energy. People seem to be going crazy, so I love it. So, what would you say white people need to be here next year for Carnival? Because Bermudians are basically the nicest people ever and they are all about having an amazing time. So I think it's just good vibes overall. So should we expect to see you on the road on Monday? Yes, I'm going to be with Code Red. Code Red in the house. Let me go! Five Star Friday was exciting, but with ringing ears, I had to go back to the hotel and rest up for the next fed on the water. It's raft up. Day three, and it's time for raft up, one of the premier water feds in the entire Caribbean and it's very unique to Bermuda. One of the key parts of this watery event is the gigantic old barge and all the boats that come and surround it. Artists perform on the barge, allowing people on the boats, on shore, or in the water to splash, drink, wine, and be merry, all while keeping cool. It is a unique display of many pieces coming together to form one smashing event. Viking. Just now. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Take a chip, take a chip, take a chip, take a chip now. Hey! Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, wow. Ooh. We are the sound of a hundred thousand coming on the road. Ha. We are the vibration that you feel when the music blows. Huh. We are the mud and the oil and we come to dirty of the clothes. Yeah. I bet the girl them whine and strike the electric pose. Hey. Take a chip, take a chip, take a chip, take a chip now. Hey, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it now. Hey, take a sip, take a sip, take a sip. 
Everywhere you turn in the water, there's something good going on. Whether that be waistline pelting or beach balls flying. on the beach with all that fun in the sun left me feeling tired as i got back to the hotel i was knocked out our next day started off a bit more mellow with the soothing sounds of pan music at the pan in the park event bermuda's heroes weekend you already know we're here pan in the park you want to enjoy some of the beautiful music of pan this event was mellow not just for the great music but because of the family feel behind the event. Children ran everywhere laughing while parents sat and enjoyed any of the several bands that blessed the air with sound waves of pan music. It's obvious. You know, each drum is different. Okay. People ask me all the time, are they the same? And I say, if they were the same, I just bring one, one. drum. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have a drum here with a whole tone scale like this. Another whole tone scale, semi tone different. See the difference? So, how long have you been playing pan? Oh, but since I was about 16. 16. I started late. <laughs> so, so, about 20 years. <laughs> you flatter me, you flatter me. I've been doing this for longer than I... Longer than I, I've been alive. Than I can remember. Yeah, I don't even know that. But, you know, um, this is not my whole life, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I haven't been doing this, like, my whole life. But it's, it's, it's a passion it's that you part, have. It's part of my life. So you're going to play for, for us right now? Yeah, make a little noise for you guys. Make a little noise? <laughs> and refreshing wind down from my more active earlier days. But the mellowness had to end because it was time for more back and out with the next fact, the low. Now you know Caribbean people love a good all-inclusive and I'm no different. Glow is the all-inclusive party for those looking to strut their stuff and be catered to at a sophisticated fact. On arrival at the location, I just knew this bet would be something special. Everyone was dressed in all white, with drinks in hand, singing beer soca music. It was as if heaven had a soca section for bacchanalists. The drinks and food were endless, so you could eat and drink to your heart's content. Stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. Stop that there! That young boy very disrespectful. No, 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 no. I go fix he. On behalf of all the ladies. Hey, Mr. Orlando. Do hey, so, don't like so. Hey, hey, ladies. Give me plenty man of God.
They were all fun, but I was having so much fun, it didn't even matter. Glow is definitely a fit for the drone and sex. I'm looking forward to going back, and hopefully this time, I'm going to get that massage. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the all-inclusive drinks at Glow, or the four days of gallivanting, but I was so wiped out that I missed the start of Juve. I'm still not sure where I gathered the strength, but I found my way to catch the ending of Juve. Although I had missed the climax and much of the bacchanal, I could still feel the energy and see the remnants of the great time those heading home were having. It was still dancing and singing. Don't your body nice and close, and make sure everybody knows. Don't waste your time because she belongs to me. Yo, Carnival Live is your boy Red Line, the Prince of Carnival. We are here, BHW 2017. Juve was a month. Great time. We got songs. And Although I was well rested for carnival, my belly was empty, so of course I had to find a great spot to eat. That's how I ended up at Mickey's. This beach bistro is located on Elbow Beach and offers some incredible seasonal food. It's about 3, 3 p.m. Everyone's lining up, getting ready for carnival. Bermuda, carnival 2017. I'm here at Mickey's getting me some lunch. It's gonna be a long when I arrived, the open air setup of the restaurant was just what I needed to feel refreshed and the unique menu offered some stellar food fueled for what I knew would be a long and exciting day of jumping up. Job that I don't like, they want me work for the whole night. Blood are so fed up by this shit. Yo, Carnival Live is your boy Red Line, the Prince of Carnival. We are here, Bermuda Heroes Weekend Carnival is lit 2017. All year we've been waiting for this pure madness. If you see ladies having a good time, it's drinks, food, whining, music, you already know it's Carnival Live TV, Bermuda's Heroes Weekend, baby. Let's go! Too much vibes to miss Me doctor don't tell me this Rum is me only medicine So tell the boss I'm calling in sick This is too much vibes to miss Me doctor don't tell me this Rum is me only medicine So on the road we drinking it all day Plenty vibes on the road eh? My doctor says it's okay We drinking, we drinking Drink rum in the night time Drink plenty you'll be quite fine uh, Tell the boss man it's my time We drinking, we drinking hey. The boss man gonna tell me I gotta reach to work early Otherwise I'm going to get fired 
I will be around for the entire night. See, baby, while I'm close, I'll be here by your side. You're doing things to me that I cannot deny. The way you're looking, girl, you are so certified. Cut me back one time when you give me that fast way, fast way, fast way. How did you enjoy your carnival? It was epic, I'm not gonna lie. Especially ending at the beach right now, like I'm just enjoying the scenery. Was this your first time? First time in Bermuda, yes. So I want you to look at the camera, tell the viewers why they need to be here next year. Oh my God, like I don't even know where to begin. Like if you want a tan, you want vibes, drinks, even though they say there ain't none, there was, okay? I'm gonna let y'all know there was. Cause I had a couple, one too many to be exact. So, the beach, you ended the beach. I mean, Which carnival do you end at the beach? Let me know. Not a lot. Exactly. I'll so, take this. The question of the day is this Do you like it long and hard or short and sweet? I'm gonna go with long and hard. You're talking about carnival. Still carnival because I need more right now. Like, this is over too soon. I need more right now. So, you want more? You want it to What's be the longer? Fet after this, I need something else right now. Well, the pet is right over there. At the after part, we gotta walk and go. But you enjoy your view. And after that, you come. Unless your friends are leaving. I'm, I'm waiting on them. Oh, your friends. That's why I said you're going to make me say something rude on camera. I'm no, no, waiting no. on them. Cut! That is your boy Red Line, the Prince of Carnival. I'm here with one of the finest, <laughs> finest <laughs> ladies from Barbados <laughs> slash Bermuda. <laughs> it's Bermuda, baby. Yes, yes. How did you enjoy your birthday at your carnival? Listen, it's been sick. Last year was sick. This year is sick. Every year is going to be sick. Okay, shout out to BHW. It's Tundi from Vibe on a three. On. If you had to choose between Carnival and your birthday, what would it be? Both. I can't. I can't choose. You gotta choose. Carnival. Carnival, baby. You see that? Birthdays Carnival. come every year. Carnival. That's right. So the question of the day is this: Do you like it long and hard or short and sweet? Uh, can I? We're say talking both? about Carnival. 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 Long and hard. <laughs> Definitely. Long and hard. Not short and sweet. No. <laughs> Bermuda, or should I say Bermudaful, it's always a unique experience, and this time was no different. I got to explore some of its oldest landmarks, party with some of its gorgeous and friendly people, and eat some of its freshest, well-seasoned, glorious foods. I wore myself down, exploring and enjoying, but I would do it all again in a heartbeat. I can't wait to come back again to see more of this wonderful island and enjoy its culture in some new and exciting ways. This is the Red Line. And until we meet again, Bermuda, stay beautiful. See, I'm far from finished. Love the life that I live in. I say, na, na.